Good morning, my friends. Today is Sunday. If you like my video, please give me the thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I am on Sue 1022. I may get cut off. I am doing two different videos today. I had two interesting things happen to me yesterday. I was on the bus yesterday and I was talking with, texting my friend and I was telling her, she goes, I told you you should get the delivery service for your medicine. I'm like, you don't understand. That's not a network. I got to go to a certain place. She's like, but you don't get it. What are you going to do when it gets icy, slippery, and you can't move, and you can't get your medicine? Well, at that moment, she gave me an anxiety attack. So I'm like, all right. Let me text my nephew, and I go, Jim, I get a crazy question. If I need your help this winter, can you help me get my medicine? And I ran and I text her back. I told her, you shouldn't have done that. That's too much of an obligation. I'm like, well, he's my nephew. I'm testing it. So, yes, he texted me back. He said he would be glad to help me. But the thing is, right after she said that, I'm on the bus, and I cried. I go, oh, God. What am I going to do? I'm a strong, independent woman. I've been on my own 30 years. And then I got into work, and I'm always happy-go-lucky. And they go, what's the matter? I'm tired. I go, they go, I know. I had an anxiety attack. I cry on bus. So I talk with mother, and she goes, Sue, don't you understand? If you get stuck, all you have to do is ask for help. But again, when you have a disability and stuff... And you have nobody, you're not used to that, and you have to be strong. You have to be able to take care of yourself. And I said, thank you. Then I talked to my friend Mitch. She goes, I know, Susan, you're strong, you're brave, you hate, but it's okay. And I said, I know. And she goes, you know, you can't play the what if game because you never know what's going to happen. I go, I know, they're too overprotective. She goes, yeah, that's not good, no. Because I'm going on this journey, and I got outside the box, and I can't go back. And they have to understand that. So what I'm going to say is, you have to do something. If somebody says not to do it, go by your instincts. I've been on my own 30 years. I know what to do. If it's really bad, I don't get the medicine until it's better. I live on a main drag, so it's always clear in like less than a day. <laughs> So I'm not going to worry about it no more. Anxiety is better. I'm in better mood. Figured I'd let you know. I love you. Auntie Sue.